A study at Pitt found that participants who check social media the most throughout the day had two and a half times the risk of reporting eating and body image concerns compared with those who checked less often. And Christine Sorensen tells us how this affects young people in today's Kidsburg report. Social media, or media in general, does not cause an eating disorder, but research shows it can influence a person's dissatisfaction, eating patterns, and self-image. I talked with a young woman who had an eating disorder from the time she was a young girl through when she was a student and others with eating disorders after she got treatment herself. Erin Fuller displays the art she made while she was in residential treatment for an eating disorder. The symbolic mask she wore, the words that sounded in her head, her body an expression of her illness. Art therapy was something that changed my life. Erin's art therapist, Sandra Rosenberg, helped Erin in her treatment at the Renfrew Center for Eating Disorders in Philadelphia and now with a location in Pittsburgh. Erin was at Pitt studying to be a therapist herself when she realized she needed help after leaving in the middle of a class because of her eating disorder. I went back to class and I was like this, I can't do this. If I'm going to be a therapist, I have to get my stuff together. At Renfrew two years ago, Erin painted, drew and created with all kinds of media, encouraged by the prompts from Sandra and then shared those images with the group. So this is called an altered book. So you take a normal book and you change the pages. Those pages filled with expressions of Erin's fears, feelings, and affirmations. One of the major functions of an eating disorder is that it gives someone a way to communicate about their experience and organize their experience in a way that makes sense to them. And art actually does the same thing, but in a way that other people can understand. Erin now counsels others, including some with eating disorders. She's conscious of how she interprets social media posts now that she's been through treatment. When I left Renfrew, I deleted a lot of people. I unfollowed a lot of people where if they were somebody I knew, I don't need to look at your highlight reel because maybe that's not what you do every day. You're not in Bora Bora every day. Erin knows that social media can influence a person's body image, and she's using it to help in her own healthy image of herself. What I've been doing recently is I will take a picture of myself where I used to think, oh, you, you don't look that good. And I would post it and say, this picture is fine. Like, you are beautiful. Through her art, her education as a therapist, and her new self-image, Erin's goal is to encourage others to get professional help if they suffer from an eating disorder. If I could help one person or inspire one person to seek treatment, that is completely worth it. That is worth my vulnerability. As for time on social media, young people are using it more than anyone. Another study found that just 30 minutes on Instagram can make females fixate on their weight and appearance in a negative way, reminding us how important it is to be aware of how social media is affecting young people. For more information on eating disorders and the Renfrew Center, we have links at kdka.com slash kidsburg. You'll also find a link to the Kidsburg website with more information on how to help parents with all kinds of child-rearing questions. With today's Kidsburg Report, I'm Christine Sorensen.